It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. And today, we're gonna get a little witchy, okay? We have my husband with me. The semi-unwilling, uh, semi-unwilling. I'm willing. Semi-unwilling victim, or, uh, blessing receiver now this is our first full moon ritual together i think it's going to be our best full moon ritual together although it's going to get more and more powerful each time we do it mm -hmm. what are you doing moving your chair stop i moved the chair behind me stop stop it's going to get stronger each time we do it but this is our first time doing one together. Now we've done something like this before. The whole premise of today is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I've staged the house. I've cleansed the house for the full moon. Um, not, it's raining, which is I think it's very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. It's like the universe is washing away that nastiness like we're getting a cleanse along with this so we got the full moon we got the sage we got the rain and now we're about to burn some of the things that are like just nasty things that are holding us back so that they don't affect us as much this month so what i'm putting this out here to say is you guys it's a full moon do your full moon rituals okay let go of that which does not serve you Okay, and my favorite way to do it is set things on fire. Okay, yeah, that sounds like you. I'm a I'm a Leo, so we're fire signs. We're both Leos, so we're fire signs. So like setting things on fire, like connecting to the energy that we were born with. So I think we should go ahead and start our list, mm -hmm. and we're gonna share one of our things from our list with you guys. Okay, it's not gonna be too person too crazy but just one of her things from our list with you guys but i think that we don't need a whole sheet of paper we can skip one piece of paper okay well that was just so we could both have our own sheet we can split a piece of paper though okay because you know we're gonna be here burning for a while mm -hmm. and then plus we're uh we're connected spiritually because we're married That's about what I expected. Which one you want? I want this one. Okay. And now we're going to fill our sheets with all of that negativity that resides in our heart. Okay. writing our list um, and each of us are going to share one of the things that is on our list okay so who wants to go first it doesn't matter okay I'll go first he's caught on you guys he's caught on um, so one of mine is arrogance you know after the first three words I just did words by the way uh, I started having trouble uh, thinking of more, but eventually I got into a rhythm and I just, I came up with like 30, 30 things. I didn't actually count, but it's just a rough estimate. Just got into the groove of it. Stuart said he only did wrote down a word of like something that he needed to let go. For me, I did more so sentences and like while I was doing the sentences, I was thinking of examples in my head. There's no right like way to do it. It's the way that feels more comforting, more useful for you. You're taking a moment to actually reflect on yourself when you're writing these things down mm -hmm. and reflect on your actions and reflect on how you 
um, may possibly treat people. So that is why one of the things on my list is uh, also based off of the uh, guided meditation that is coming out, I believe tomorrow. Um, but it's talking about forgiveness. So one of the biggest things that I keep trying to remind myself is you don't always have to respond. Um, I know that I tend to pretty much get irritated with people, just people that I care about. So like I get, I have a shorter patience with the people that I invite into my everyday life so it's just like you know people can be doing like people outside of the people I invite into my everyday life you can do whatever you know like I just like I know that you know we're not on that that level you know when you see people doing some things where you're just like okay well you do you boo is with those types of situations but I truly can't like just let things go when it's people that I know. So if I see you doing something wrong, I'm gonna be like, you like, why are you doing it this way? And um, I've like recently, cause you've been telling me a little bit more, it's, it's not necessarily, I don't know, is it the way I say it or what I say? It's the way you say things. It's the way I say things. So it's like, Everyone kind of sees me as like, even when I'm not angry, people see me as angry. So it's just more so like I have to be more conscious of what I say and maybe, well not what I say, because I'm going to say what I'm going to say regardless, period. But um, the idea is take a moment to think about how what I'm what I'm saying is going to be taken by the other person. Take a moment mm -hmm. to just think about it a little bit longer, okay? And it's not to like, oh, completely change who I am, because I I feel like, you know, I'm that upfront, like, hey, if you're doing something that shitty, I'm gonna call you out on it, okay? But more so to put myself in the position where I can call someone out on them being a shitty person and they don't even like take it to heart. You know, like they might make it, you know, it's not like, I feel like that was an interesting way, thing to say, like, oh, I could call you out on sh being a shitty person, but you don't take it to heart. But I mean, like, mm -hmm. not that they just walk away and be like, well, fuck you, but they, they hear it and it doesn't hurt them and it can cause a change. Because if I can hear, hey, what you just did wasn't right, and it's not like you're attacking me, then it's going to be like, oh, that probably wasn't right. I can change based off of if I feel like you're angry towards me and now I'm feeling defensive for my actions. So I need to think of a way to present myself in a way that I don't make people go on defense, mm -hmm. but they can actually hear what I'm saying. And part of that, I don't think that I can really do myself. I think it just comes with time because as a, I'm not, I'm, this wasn't the intention, but I'm going to go there a little bit. As a black woman oh my god as a black woman we're seen as more aggressive so it's a little bit harder for me to just say what i want to say without being seen as a bitch because you know like how a uh, man can say it. like i'm the one where if a man says what i say they're just like oh yeah they're just they're just you know that's a man you know like if a man says what i have to say they'll be like okay damn but it wouldn't be like damn you bitchy but because I say it and I'm a woman, it's like, oh, she always got an attitude. You know, it can be construed as that, which in actuality is just expressing my opinions, expressing my emotions. I don't see it that way. Yeah, but you married me. Yeah. He kind of stuck with me, y'all. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. The color of your skin doesn't affect how I see the things you say. Yes. But also, you have to keep in mind that you've said that you don't see color. So, like, like that, that, that is taken out of context. <laughs> he, he said but he did I, not see color. Yeah, but you're we, taking it out of context. We've had. So, what we're going to do is rip up our papers real quick. And, like I said, there's no right way to do this, but right now. I think me and Steven are making our, our own little way of doing it. This is our moon ritual. Let me guys, let me guys, you guys let me know how do you do your moon rituals, you know, what is something that you do? We 
started off, I cleared, cleaned the space by walking around and burning sage. Got it real smoky in there. Let me tell you, and I could immediately breathe better when the sage was burned. Let's, let's be real. Like I was like, ooh, I can breathe easy now. The sage is gone. Mix them up. Mix them up. I don't want my wishes burning before your wishes. Equality. So with this, we're just going to go ahead and burn everything in the bowl. And the way we're going to end our ritual, right, mm -hmm. is maybe do like a moment of silence or just being quiet while it's burning. Like just not saying anything and letting it completely burn. And then we just kind of like give each other a hug, okay? Because this is going to be our ritual, you guys. We're working through it while we're doing it. But we can give each other a hug and then we dump it outside. In the rain. In the rain. So I think it makes sense because, you know, um, it, what I was telling Stuart before earlier is once we finish the ritual, we don't want to keep the burnt papers inside of the house. We're going to, you know, like we're doing away with them. And so I want to do away with them in a way where I'm not going outside and seeing them all the time. You know, if it's still bits of paper. So out the but back. I don't want to go. I also, yeah, it can go out in the back. But I also don't want to um, put it in a trash can too. Because like, you know, you know, like I don't want to like just be like, okay, you're trash now. Hmm. Um, and paper is degradable, right? Biodegradable. Biodegradable, right? Uh, after it's burned, I think it'll break down. Yeah. Okay, so, so paper. Come part of the dirt. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh well, I'm just saying, paper's biodegradable. We're gonna burn it up and just throw it out in the backyard, and like birds, they can't really use it to make nests because it's burnt paper. Yeah. But okay, I thought you were gonna say they're gonna eat it. I'm a little bit of a pyro, y'all. You just put it right on top. Well, that didn't work. You know, it's so hard to catch a house on fire, but when you want to burn some papers, they don't want to do it now. Well, that was very fast. Mm-hmm. Do you feel lighter? Hmm? <laughs> I do. I've been sniffing on that um, sage. Let me tell you, if you were to tell me that sage had some, you know, smoking sage has some, you know, things that are inclined to other things, you know, making you feel very relaxed and whatnot, I believe you. Get rid of the evidence. Yep. Yeah. Both warm. Okay, Jones Bones, that was another video from your making all that noise. Okay, Jones Bones, that was another video from your girl United League. Please, go ahead. Okay, Jones Bones, that was another video from your girl, United 